Today, the latest weapons, coupled with the fighting skill of the American soldier, stand ready, on the alert all over the world, to defend this country, you, the American people, against aggression. This is the big picture, an official television report to the nation from the United States Army. Now, to show you part of the big picture, here is Sergeant Stuart Queen. For most of the United States Army divisions which fought in Korea, that land was a strange and alien one, but not for the 7th Infantry Division. When the 7th, along with the Marines and other elements of the 10th Corps, executed the bold invasion of Incheon in the early fall of 1950, it was for the division a return to a land it had known in calmer times. For at the end of World War II, the 7th Division had moved into Korea to accept the surrender of the Japanese troops south of the 38th parallel. The division remained in South Korea on occupation duty until the end of 1948 when it left for Japan. Less than two years later, the 7th Division was back in Korea, fighting this time to drive a new aggressor from the tortured land of the morning calm. This is the story of the 7th Infantry Division's performance in that fight. By the end of World War II, the 7th Infantry Division had learned a good deal about amphibious invasion. It had